I come to you in the name of one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The birth of Christ, wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. What more needs to be said? Every birth is a miracle, and this birth is no exception. A miraculous birth that changed the world. For most families, the birth of a child changes their lives forever. Nothing is ever quite the same after the birth of a child. And parents can only hope that their child will grow up to make a difference. Our challenge, though, is that if we've seen the news any time in the past few hours, days, or weeks, we may wonder if the world has really changed since that first celebration over 2,000 years ago, the birth of Christ in Bethlehem. I'm sure that Mary and Joseph had not planned to celebrate the birth of their son as they did. They were removed from family and friends several days' journey from home. It's not likely that they were yet married, so they both faced a strong social stigma. Mary would have been an outcast if Joseph had not stayed with her during her pregnancy. Bethlehem was overcrowded with people who came for the census. And generally speaking, the towns were ruled by corrupt and often oppressive leaders. Not the ideal setting that Mary and Joseph would have chosen for a birth. But then several days of riding on a donkey may have been a great way to induce labor. <laughs> and this is what Mary and Joseph had to deal with. Despite the chaos that surrounded them, they found a quiet place, probably a cave where the animals were kept, a place that was dry and warm. They dealt with what was before them. Who would have expected the King of Kings to be born in such a place? But that is precisely the point. Christ was in the midst of the chaos so that he could change it. There would have been little need for Christ in the Garden of Eden. But there was great need for Christ in Bethlehem, Jerusalem, and all the towns in between. Christ was sorely needed in the world 2,000 years ago, and is needed today. He comes to us in the midst of all the chaos that surrounds us. And he comes to us because of the chaos. We don't live in the Garden of Eden. We live in Bethlehem, Jerusalem, and all those places in between. And this is what makes this birth that we celebrate so amazing. It's the birth that does change the world. The shepherds heard of the birth of the Savior, the Messiah, and from there, slowly, the word spread. Like ripples in water that spread out from the center, the word about the Christ child spread. In chaos theory, there's a concept called the butterfly effect. The idea is that the flap of a butterfly's wing can set in motion the airflow that ultimately creates or changes the path of a tornado thousands of miles away. The butterfly doesn't actually cause the tornado. It simply changes the conditions in one location and can set into motion a chain of events that ultimately affects the conditions far away. Under the theory, a delicate butterfly in San Francisco can affect the weather here in Williamsburg. Well, like the butterfly's wings, the birth of the Christ child changes the conditions of the world. We see this in the gospel as people's lives are changed. Often, 
Jesus would heal a pers one person at a time or cast out one demon at a time as his path crossed theirs along his journey. The crowds would hear his words and be changed. Marked from that birth over 2,000 years ago, the world has changed. And those changes continue today. This Christmas, or any Christmas, may not look very much like a picture-perfect holiday. But that is precisely what makes this Christmas so special. This is not the Garden of Eden. Things are not perfect. But the light that emanates from this birth is perfect and does change the world. Christ's birth brings with it the brightness of true light. And like the ripples moving across a pond, the light spreads to each of us. And we, in turn, spread the light of Christ to others. And with this, we can change the world. This is the Christmas we have before us. It may be a bit chaotic and unsettled, and it's different from any other Christmas that we've experienced, and it's much like every other Christmas that we have enjoyed. The birth of Christ remains a powerful effect on the world. It is a world-changing event. A while ago, I read a story about a little girl. And she had gone for a walk on a beach after a particularly strong storm that had washed up thousands of starfish onto the beach. And she began to pick up each starfish that she came to in her journey and toss it back into the ocean. Seeing this, a man approached her and said, Young lady, I don't see why you're doing this. You can't possibly save all the starfish. You can't make a difference. Well, the little girl was initially crushed. And then she took a deep breath. And she walked to the next starfish, picked it up, and threw it as far as she could back into the ocean. She looked at the man and said, well, I made a difference to that one. The man bent down and joined her in returning the starfish to the ocean, one at a time. Christ was not born in the Garden of Eden. He was born in Bethlehem. Because he was born to change Bethlehem and each town that he visited and each town that his disciples visited, he was born to change the world. And the chaos of the world is why Christ has come to us this Christmas and every Christmas. And we're to take the light of Christ and carry it with us. We are to share it with those we meet. We are to change the world, one starfish at a time if necessary. Christ was born to change the world, and we are the tools of that change. <clears throat>